Number 38. Which one is the stronger acid, NH4 plus or HBRO? Okay, so with these types of questions in which the acids in question are, there's no trend that I can pick out from here, right? This one is an oxo acid. It's got hydrogen and oxygen. And then this one is a conjugate of ammonia. So there's really no trend that I can go on to figure out which one is stronger. I know that they're both weak because they're not a six strong acid list, but the only thing that we can do here is we can actually pull up the Ka and the Kb values. Now, if you go in the back of your textbook, chances are you will see a list of Ka and Kb values. So HBRO was right there. So this, we don't have to worry about. They already gave us the Kb, uh, the Ka for HBRO. But now when I tried to find NH4+, there was no Ka value on that the appendix, but I could find the conjugate base, NH3. Now remember, conjugates only differ by one hydrogen. This one has three H's and this one has four H's. So this one is the conjugate acid of NH3. So with conjugates, remember, we could always go from a Ka, or, you know, vice versa, Kb, to a Ka value. Basically, we try to solve for the Ka, and then we can compare the two. I cannot compare a Kb value and a Ka value of different compounds. They have to be either both Kbs or they have to be both Ka values. So you say to yourself, okay, do I know an equation that will link Kb and Ka together? And yes, I do. It is this equation right here. It's the Kw equation. Kw equals Ka times Kb. And remember, this is only going back and forth between conjugates, the compounds that only differ by one hydrogen. So we basically need to solve for Ka, right? We have the Kb value. And Kw is always a constant value. Chances are your teacher or professor won't uh, give you this value, so you probably have to memorize it. They didn't give me a temperature here, but I'm going to assume that it's at room temp. So it's going to be 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So now if we want to solve for Ka, if I just rearrange this formula, or if you want to just plug in your numbers here, that's fine with me. But it's just easier on, on the screen to do it as, uh, you know, changing it and then plugging in the numbers. This would just be equal to Kw divided by Kb. So let's see what's happening. Kw is that constant number that we now know. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th and the Kb they gave me. 1.8, and maybe I'll put that in blue. 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So from here, we could finally find the Ka value. So let's see what it is. Calc is out. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And I get, uh, we'll do two sig figs, so 5.6. Whoa. 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. Okay, so now maybe we will just bring this over here. And what I'm going to do, actually, maybe I'll just copy this, I guess, right? Just so that everything flows together. And this is NH4s now. Okay. Remember, the Kb was for the base, one less hydrogen. The Ka is for the acid, one more hydrogen. Now, since we have both Ka's, we can now figure out which one is stronger. And the rule is, the higher the Ka value, so the greater you have for a Ka value, the more acidic you're going to be. So increase the acidity. So all we got to do is just compare these Ka values. 2.8 times 10 to the negative 9th versus 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. This is a bigger value, right? 
this Ka value is bigger. So that means that HBRO is the stronger acid. And that's it. That's the answer. Whee! Beautiful. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to help us out, please subscribe. Please press the subscribe button. That would mean the, the world to us. It just gets the word out there that this YouTube channel exists. And I thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate all you guys. Let's keep working hard. See you later. Bye-bye.